Welcome to my tutorial on Photoshop CS5. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you guys, um, well, it's going to be fun. We're going to do uh, an hour space theme, and I'm going to show you how to use some tools in Photoshop. And you can apply these um, strategies or tips to um, any project that you're using. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is take this uh, alien, and this is the original image. Now, I'll show you the magic eraser tool. If I click uh, in the white, a lot of people do this to um, delete a background. They use the magic eraser tool, but you can't always use it, and this is um, one of the situations where you can't. A lot of times what I do is I don't really go to the magic eraser tool. I go straight to the pen tool. I'm going to take the pen and create a new path, and I'm going to come over here to the alien, and I'm going to start tracing it. Once I'm finished tracing the whole alien, what you want to do is take the path and drop it down inside the third circle over here. And then it selects the area that you want to trace. Now, when I was finished, I just delete the background, and that's what I got. It's not the best silhouette. Now, I did it pretty fast, but it could have been a lot better, in my own opinion, because you can see some jagged lines around the alien. But there's a quick way we can resolve that, too. So let's go to right-click the layer with the alien. I'm going to click Blending Options. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the shadow. And right away, you see that he's kind of... Um, you know, it gave him some depth, and it's he's not looking so flat. Let's uh, use normal as the blend mode, and I can adjust the size if I want, but I'm not going to do that too much, and we'll leave that alone. I'm going to give him an hour to glow because he's an alien. Let's do that to normal, and let me adjust the size of that and the opacity. I have to say, he's looking like a pretty kick-ass alien. I don't say so myself. So anything else we want to do? Let me see. Um, that's about it for now. So I'm going to click OK. 100%. And he looks pretty cool. Now if I wanted to, and I really want to get into refining him, I can always go into the pixels. And again, I'm on a 64-bit operating system, so I get to see each individual pixel. And I can take my eraser tool. And while I'm on the layer, I can actually just get a soft brush, which you find up here. And these are the soft brushes over here. I can just start going over the edges. So let's take the alien and bring him down here. We'll create ourselves a new layer, which you can do quick over here for new layer. And let's give him some ground to stand on. And let me make it kind of orange. That's a good color. And I'm going to create some craters in the um, in the ground here. And I'm just going to go a little bit darker. And I'm doing this all on the fly. I really I didn't have this planned out. So if you guys hate my illustration, just hate it. <laughs> I'm sure I'll hear about it if you hate it, but you know, I'm really just working on this as I go. And all I'm doing is pressing Alt, creating myself some new circles very quickly. And the next thing I want to do is I'm going to right click. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll merge these layers because they're all the same um, element. And I'm going to do Control E and merge down. I can, and they, they're all grouped in one layer now. I'm going to right click on this layer and I'm going to click Blending Options again. And let's do a little drop sh uh, inner shadow, excuse me. Now those look like perfect circles, and we know craters are not really that perfect. So maybe what I'll do is take the eraser tool, this time use a hard brush, and just start going to the craters like that. I don't know, I guess I'm putting him on Mars. I've never been to Mars, but I know the craters are not exactly perfect. Another way of doing this is we can take the lasso tool, hold on to that, and take the polygonal lasso tool, 
and we're gonna start cutting into the the craters. Press delete. And you can do that as well. These look like some weird craters. <laughs> okay, let's just leave it like that. Now we can also, since it's Earth, and it's kind of, well not Earth, it's, Mar it's supposed to be Mars, but the ground is supposed to have some texture, so why don't we do this? Let's take the, um, let's take that layer, merge it down into the ground. Let me unlock that. I'm going to go to Filter. And let's put some noise in. Noise, and let's go to Add Noise. And we're going to add some uniform noise, and let's just, well actually let's add Gaussian. So we add a little Gaussian, and we'll make it monochromatic, just to add some texture. Let's go filter, texture, and let's craftulate it. That looks pretty cool. Let's take the dodge tool, and we're going to hit it with some white spots. And then we're going to take the burn tool, and put some darker spots onto it. And up here you can adjust the exposure, on how much you want to use, or how little you want to use. And we're just playing around with color. He looks like a happy alien. <laughs> let's do this. Let's go blending options for the alien again. And let's put a drop shadow. Now depending on where you want him positioned, that will tell you the position of the drop shadow. Now let's have him floating in the air. Because when I have him floating in the air, the drop shadow will hang down a little bit like he's ready to land on the ground and all I'm doing is adjusting these little um, sliders over here to get it how I want it click OK bring it down a little bit now for the background, as far as the uh, sky goes, what we can do is we could put some um, stars. So hit the brush, come up here to the brush, scroll down, and let's create a new layer. And what color do I have selected? Let me go back and have white selected for stars. And I'll increase the size for some of the other ones. And just like you would see in the sky, you would want to adjust the size of the stars because they're pretty random. And let's use one more small brush. And we can also take this um, Blending options for the layer of the stars and put an outer glow. That's fine, I'll leave it like that for now. Click OK. And there you go, there's the alien um, on Earth or Mars or wherever he is with some craters and some stars in the background. What else can we do in this uh, illustration? Let me see. I noticed one thing though, since we're in outer space, a lot of people, when I was in college, I like to use the lens flare, and you guys might want to do that too. If you want to use the lens flare, you can go to filter. Let me just create one more. Let's put it on the background. I'm gonna unlock my background. I'm gonna go to filter, render, lens flare. And a lot of people like this effect. I think everybody in my college classes would use this effect. And you can see the variations when you get to the lens flare. It's like a bell and whistle for Photoshop, I guess. But let's click OK. You have the lens flare in the background. 
Um, what else? I mean, I think he looks pretty happy. So I'm going to conclude this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And I'll see you guys later.